So we are looking at match statements in control flows in Python and it's our penultimate um, control flow. Although the next control flow that we're going to look at is functions and functions are kind of like a system in themselves. Um, they're, big, they're big enough to warrant their own section. So um, what is a match statement? And the first thing I'll do is I will bring across the definitions here. Um, but effectively, a match statement is this type of over here and also um, this pattern here. So these patterns that we're seeing where and, and sometimes we're seeing them um, occurring inside of functions. But basically what happens is we've got a match and then we've got a bunch of cases. So these are things that may occur and we're matching against a particular pattern. And if that happens, then um, we will jump into the case statement. And the first one that we're going to look at is I'm, I'm, we're going to ignore this uh, function because we're going to get that onto that in the next section. And what we're going to look at is I'm going to isolate this match statement and just show it how it happens. But this particular one is looking at HTTP error. And these are the type of error messages that you can get. So we're just going to extract the um, match statement out of that and paste it into our code over here. And because it was indented, we're gonna remove, remember Python is sensitive to the white spaces, so we're gonna remove that. Now our match statement is in the right format, but the one thing that we need to do, because we're not using it inside of a function, is to turn all of these into a print statement. So print, and then everything's got to go inside the brackets over here. So I'm just moving everything into a print statement. So that our code um, doesn't have any errors. Print and finally over here we've got the final print statement. So now our code is print. There we go. Our code is error free now and what's happening and this is a cleaner version of the match statement so we can look at it like this. Um, we're matching against whatever comes into here and in this particular case we've got a variable called status so it needs to have some kind of value that comes in so let's just say status it would have come from an earlier piece of code equals 400 but what's going to happen it, the match uh, the cases are going to be looked at one at a time and they're matching themselves against this variable whatever variable we put in we've called it status and it's a value 400 in this case 400 has occurred so this is going to be run now when we actually run this code we can see it in, in action there we go we get bad request if we pick a 418 and ran the same piece of code we would get i am a teapot this one gets run and none of the other ones so look why did why didn't the uh, match statement come out before uh, python 3.10 it's kind of like seems to be a late invention it's been around in languages um way way before um, it was introduced in python you know is in vba 10 or 20 years ago um, and it wasn't in python and the reason why is that you could in theory replace these cases with an if else block and put it in the right order so the argument was that you actually don't necessarily need a match statement and it's a level of convenience you, you can achieve it some other way so why bother implementing it into the language um, especially like a more modern language but the answer is, like, had it have come about um, earlier, I'd probably use match statements a lot more. But as you get used to not using them, you know, you it you might not um, need them. And we saw this same kind of pattern with this if else statement um, and elif, else if, else if, else if, and finally an else. Well, this looks pretty similar. It is nice for the uh, matching and it contains everything in the block. And the one thing that we haven't spoken about yet is the like the final case that if anything isn't caught. So we've like caught a 400 and a 404, but what happens if we've put in a 450 over here? Um, and let's just hover over this um, underscore. It says any there, so it's kind of like, it looks like it's gonna be all the rest of them. So if we have a status that doesn't agree with any of these cases are here, this is our fallback status. And when we run the code, we see that something's wrong with the internet. So now this fallback has uh, run. Now, just like with this um, if and else if, if we don't have like this end statement, like the, this final else catching something, and we don't have to have it here, like we can remove it. Um, all that's going to happen is it's going to go and do its checks systematically one by one none of them will be fulfilled and we will just get a blank because nothing's actually been invoked and the codes passed through and done nothing 
so so generally we do want um it's more complete as a programmer to have um, all of your cases accounted for so we probably do want this underscore and if we go and look at the documentation you know we see an underscore here in this first one we see an underscore here in the second one so it seems to be um, good um, a good habit to have the underscore at the end of it which means the final case if um, you have if one of the if some outcome that you haven't accounted for does occur then you've got like this fallback thing so that's basically it and this is generally the pattern for the case statement it's relatively straightforward and quite convenient um, for those that do want to use it for those that don't you still got the um, ifs and else ifs um, to go through so um, which which um, don't really appear to lose any efficiency so um, you've got two options and that's the match statement in python for version 3.1 and above which is about mid 2021 i think um, where it works from from those versions onwards